Hello everyone, uh, I'm Ubashe. So now I'm going to present today how to transform your data using SPSS statistics. We have different uh, versions of statistics. Uh, one of uh, the tool is uh, SPSS statistics. I'm using this one uh, for today's video. So uh, I'm just opening SPSS uh, to guide you how we can transform our data using SPSS. This is the SPSS uh, one. And we, I'm using the existing file of SPSS uh, from the depository of SPSS uh, databases. So uh, the file name is customer db. Uh, so customer database file. I'm using this one. Uh, the uh, file description is we have 132 variables and uh, we have uh, 5,000 different customers related data. And then we can analyze by, uh, by using. Uh, we can transform. Uh, actually, we are doing today. Uh, the one of the tool is trans, uh, transform. Uh, you can see the fifth uh, um, from the top. Uh, so this is a concept of uh, compute variable and different concepts you uh, have seen uh, this one. So for example, uh, in the one of the way, the easiest way uh, the transformation is, so just go to compute and uh, compute. You want to add something. So for example, uh, I want to add something in the age. Uh, I want to increase the age uh, with the one and two uh, per year. So I'm just uh, getting the age, just click here and then click here, the age. I'm just uh, adding, this is five. I'm adding the age um, and I, uh, adding with all the age, 5,000 customer uh, ages, uh, uh, will be increased by uh, five per year age. So this is a new age. I'm just writing here, new underscore. This is age. So, okay. I'm just uh, clicking. Okay. So you will, uh, this is uh, executed. Yes, that's good. So you can see at the last, uh, so data view, the last one, you can see the one a variable is generated new age right so uh, this is square and this is the new variable so click double click here and you will see the last one the age is increased the first age was 20 and now is 25 because we added uh, the five in uh, for ev each and every uh, age category uh, age one so this is the very simplest concept to transform your uh, variable in the quick way in the within seconds. So uh, another way uh, uh, we have a lot of transformations. So for, for example, I want to um, add five and subtract one and uh, I want to multiply uh, by two. Uh, this is multiply by two and uh, I am want to divide by five. So I don't know what is coming, but uh, this is a formula, the function I have applied, the age plus five minus, uh, minus five again, I can, this one use, uh, I just used, uh, I've added previously in age this one, and I'm just uh, removing a negative five. Multiplying by two, uh, divided by five, okay. That's it. So just uh, this is a new one. So I can uh, replace that variable by using the same name. Uh, so I'm I just okay. Is asking change existing variable? Yes, I'm uh, telling him the yes. You have to you you can change this one. So okay. So just okay. Then you uh, will see now the new variable is ex executed. Uh, so you have seen the new age is now changed with the existing function. So existing function that I have uh, given age minus five multiplied by two divided by five, the answers are here. Okay, you will, uh, will be amazed to see uh, different um, uh, functions and different transformation we can use. For example, I want to use the age, the original age. Uh, so, okay, I'm just taking the original age and uh, I'm just uh, using plus five and uh, 
divided by again age right again age i am just dividing okay i am just getting the answer okay existing again yes so you have seen 1.25 1.23 1.07 this is the outcome of uh, that uh, particular command of transformation so uh, you now you can identify you can uh, see the box cox transformation you can use uh, for your particular uh, you, your specific uh, queries so uh, that one is uh, for example i wa just want to uh, apply the log or mean and something like i want to get the average of something so for example i want to uh, add both different variables like uh, debit income credit income and all these okay i want to get the sum of this one so this is go to uh, arithmetics i'm just sharing my whole screen then you will uh, get the better solution okay so you can see the all all variable now you can split by using this is mean this is mean just i'm double clicking here or just clicking here so okay you have seen uh, mean is here so one is just i'm uh, entering the income and also dab income and also just we have to uh, the comma use a comma okay now the third one is credit income just i have used three different incomes debit income credit income and actual income i'm just getting the mean so here is uh, the income and just use the new income okay so it is okay okay that is is executed uh, now you have seen uh, the new income is 14.43 for 11.61 uh, this is average income of uh, by using income debit income credit income so we have different transformations techniques over here so uh we can use a median as average we can use a mod average like here is mod and we have lot of things uh, here to use okay for example i just want to use the log of these uh one of okay one of only so i'm just removing all the things so i just want to get the uh, income log right income log means just uh, either my yeah, like this is log log of income so just uh, log 10 i'm just using this one so also we have natural log and different logarithms uh, so we can apply so just i'm just okay okay now i am getting the solution is log income so uh, the 5000 customers related incomes i just uh, applied the log of those 5000 just i get the answer within second so uh, now transformations so transformation again compute variable i want to just uh, get uh, the square root of uh, specific variable square root means uh, just uh, uh, you can see sqrt command sqrt this is sqrt Uh, so again i want to get the uh, result from age so just i have just um, giving the sqrt age so here you can see the n so this is age so n age like this is okay then you can see the new age with the specific customer dbs data using this one you have seen this one transformations okay we have multiple ways to uh, get the different phenomena different things uh, by using this one we have a uh, lot of uh, variables a uniform a poisson and we can use the different commands uh, for specific purposes so this is the method of transformation one of the method so there are many met methods uh, we have uh, we can use uh, for specific purposes so thanks a lot